In this video, we will overview the new Section 4 Scoring Sleep Stages in Infants that was added in July 2015. We will discuss the sleep staging rules for infants, like the ages for which infant sleep staging rules to be applied, technical specifications for recording infants PSG, general scoring of sleep stages, Scoring stage wakefulness, scoring stage N, scoring stage R, and scoring stage T. Infant sleep staging rules should be used to score sleep and wakefulness in infants from 0 to 2 months post-term, which is 37 to 48 weeks conceptional age. The conceptional age is calculated as the gestational age plus the number of weeks postpartum. The GA is the time elapsed between the first day of the mother's last menstrual period and the day of delivery expressed in completed weeks. If the pregnancy was achieved using assisted reproductive technology, GA is calculated by adding two weeks to the conceptional age. Knowing an infant's conceptional age is crucial for interpreting the normality, immaturity, or abnormality of an EEG or PSG because the brain and the EEG continue to develop and mature at a similar rate independent of whether the infant is in utero or post-delivery. There are some specific technical specifications related to the setup for infants and pediatrics PSG. The distance between the chin EMG electrodes often needs to be reduced from 2 cm to 1 cm compared to adults, as well as the distance from the eyes in EOG electrodes often need to be reduced from 1 to 0.5 centimeters. There are also some slight differences in terms of the montage that should be used for scoring sleep stages in infants and pediatrics. So since rudimentary sleep spindles first appear at 43 to 48 weeks conceptional age at the middle line central CZ vertex region and are often asynchronous Simultaneous display of left, right, and midline central EEG channels may be considered, like for example C3CZ, CZC4. In infants this age, sleep spindles all are often low voltage, 12 to 14 Hz, not the wider range of 11 to 16 Hz seen at the later ages. And since behavioral patterns are extremely useful in determining the sleep stages, synchronized video and audio recording is highly desirable. The following terminology should be used when scoring sleep in infants from 0 to 2 months post-term, stage W, stage N, stage N is analogous to the previously used terminology of quiet sleep. Stage R is analogous to the previously used terminology of active sleep. And stage T is analogous to the previously used terminology of indeterminate sleep. There are some general rules for scoring sleep stages. So score sleep stages in 30 seconds sequential epochs commencing at the start of the study. Assign a stage to each epoch and if two or more stages coexist, assign the stage comprising the greatest portion of the epoch. If two or more PSG characteristics are discordant for stage R or stage N sleep, score the epoch as stage T Score sleep onset as the first epoch of sleep. Bear in mind 
that up until two to three months post-term, the first epoch of sleep in infants is often stage R. Sleep and wakefulness in infants are scored based on behavioral observation, recorded by video and by tick notes, regularity or irregularity of respiration, according to the physiology of breathing and sleep, EEG, EOG, and chin EMG parameters, based on the characteristic patterns that we will describe in the coming slides. Score sleep based on behavioral characteristics as defined in Table 1. In stage wakefulness, the correlated behavior can be calm or active with eyes open, scanning eye movements, brief eye closure can occur with crying. In stage N, the correlated behavior can be eyes closed with few movements and sucking can occur. In stage R, the behavior can be eyes closed, rapid eye movement seen under closed eyelids, squirming, sucking, small movements of the face or limbs. According to respiration, in stage wakefulness, respiration would be irregular, rapid, and shallow, while in stage N, the respiration would be regular, and in REM sleep, respiration would be irregular, with some central poses, may or may not meet the criteria for apnea. According to EEG characteristics, there are some interesting characteristic patterns that can be used to distinguish the different sleep stages in infants, like the trace alternate TA. It is described as three alternating runs of bilaterally symmetrical synchronous high voltage, which range from 50 to 150 microvolts, Pairs of 1 to 3 hertz of delta activity lasting 5 to 6 seconds. Alternating with periods of lower amplitudes from 25 to 50 microvolt. And this kind of waveform is used to characterize stage N. Another characteristic pattern that is called the low voltage irregular, LVI, it is defined as continuous low voltage mixed frequency activity with delta and predominantly theta activity. And this is used to characterize stages R and wakefulness. High voltage low, HVS, is defined as continuous synchronous symmetrical predominantly high voltage 1 to 3 hertz delta activity that is used to characterize stages N and rarely can be in stage R. The wave that is called NEXT or M is defined as both high voltage slow and low voltage polyrhythmic components. The amplitude is lower than seen in the HVS pattern and this is used to characterize stages with fullness R and rarely in stage N. Spindles at that age is defined as 12 to 14 hertz, asynchronous, most prominent in the midline central, CZ, and central derivations, and it occurs only in stage N sleep. The following definitions should be used based on EOG characteristics. So in stage wakefulness, EOG characteristics are blinks, rapid eye movements, scanning eyes, transient eye closures may be seen in wakefulness, especially when the infant is crying. In stage N, eyes are closed and there are no movements, usually there would be some mirroring from the EEG into EOG channels. 
state R is characterized by closed eyes with rapid eye movements. The following definitions based on the Chen EMG patterns should be used. So in stage wakefulness, stage wakefulness is associated with present tone and with movement artifacts. Stage N is characterized with present tone and that could be lower than wakefulness. In stage R, the tone will be low. The low chin EMG tone is detected when the baseline EMG activity in the chin derivation no higher than in any other sleep stage and usually at the lowest level of the entire recording. For the transient muscle activity, it is seen when there are short irregular bursts of EMG activity, usually with duration of less than 0.25 seconds, superimposed on low EMG tone. This is the 30 second window, and the stage is wakefulness because eyes open, the patient is crying, respiration is irregular, EEG, it's LVI or mixed, EOG, Rapid eye movements, blinks, scanning eye movements, the chin tone is present. In this example, again, it's uh, 30 seconds. If you look at the behavioral description, here we can see reduced movement relative to wakefulness, eyes closed, periodic sucking, respiration is regular. If you look at the EEG traces, there are some TA, HVS, sleep spindles, or M. On EOG, there are no eye movements, just we have some reflection from uh, EEG channels, and the Chen EMG tone is present. In this example, EEG, we have LVI or mixed. Respiration is irregular, eyes closed with small movements. We have rapid eye movements on EOG, and the chin EMG tone is absent with some transient muscle activity here and here. Stage T score an epoch as stage transitional if it contains either three non REM and two REM characteristics or two REM and three REM characteristics. This is a 30 second tracing of transitional T sleep in infant. If you look at AEG, we have LVI, low voltage irregular. According to EOG, no rapid eye movements. For the chin, the tone is absent. Respiration is irregular. The behavior, no associated movements and eyes closed. There are three characteristics of stage R, which are the LVI, chin EMG absent and irregular respiration, and two characteristics of non-REM, like the no movements and no REMs are seen in this epoch. This assumes that the epoch was not immediately preceded by an epoch of definite R. There are some notes to be considered when you score stage transitional. Transitional or indeterminate sleep is common in infants because of discordant features, as it contains physiological markers of more than one sleep state. The terminology transitional sleep is favored over indeterminate sleep as the sleep stage most often occurs in transitions from stage wakefulness to stage R sleep before awakening and at sleep onset. Case discussion number one, scoring sleep stages. We have a two months old baby boy with witness post side truckings, PSG with video was performed to rule out sleep-related breathing disorders using Exodec Brain Monitor and Sleepworks Virgin 9. 
we have EOG in the top, then we have EEG, we have the chin, this is the nasal pressure, respiration, oxygen saturation, and here is a video. So according to the recommended workflow for analyzing sleep stages in infants, so eyes closed in the initial portion, in the second portion eyes opened, if you look at the EEG, we have low voltage irregular pattern. The second part, when eyes opened, we have LVI, continuation of LVI, with superimposition of 50 to 60 hertz due to movements. Respiration is irregular, and it's evident through the video that there are body and head movements. So, the stage is wakefulness. Next epoch. Eyes opened according to EOG. EEG, we have LVI and mixed frequencies. Respiration is irregular. And body and head movement seen on the video. Stage is wakefulness. Next epoch, eyes closed with no eye movements. We have some reflections from EEG and mirroring, like those parts. EEG, we have HVS. Respiration is regular. Baby is sucking. Stage is N. Next epoch. Eyes closed, no eye movements. EEG. We have HVS and TA finding. Respiration is regular. And the patient is sucking. The stage is N. Next epoch. Eyes closed, no eye movements. EEG, we have TA and HVS. Respiration is regular. Eyes closed, no movements. The stage is M. Eyes closed. And rapid eye movement is seen. EEG, we have mixed frequencies. Respiration is irregular. And there are little movements. This is stage R. Next epoch. Eyes closed with rapid eye movement. EEG, we have LVI. Respiration is irregular. There are little movements. The stages are. Rules for children. Pediatric sleep staging rules can be used to score sleep and wakefulness in children two months post-term or older. Rules for children, sleep stages to be assigned for epochs are stage W, stage in 1, stage in 2, stage in 3, stage N, and stage R. Not all sleep reforms are well developed by two months post-term, therefore, the following possible scenarios may be applied. If all epochs of non-REM sleep contain no recognizable sleep spindles, K-complexes, or high amplitude 0.5 to 2 Hz, slow wave activity, score all epochs as stage N. If some epochs of non-REM sleep contain 
sleep spindles or okay, complexes score those as stage N2. If in the remaining non-REM epochs there is no slow wave activity comprising more than 20% of the duration of epochs, score as stage N. If some epochs of non-REM sleep contain greater than 20% slow wave activity, score these as stage N3. If in the remaining non-REM epochs there are no key complexes or spindles, then score as stage N. According to this table, sleep spindles appear at the age of 6 weeks, up to 3 months post-term. Okay, complexes, 3 to 6 months post-term. Slow of activity from 2 to 5 months post-term. Posterior dominant rhythm is defined as the dominant reactive EEG rhythm over the occipital regions in relaxed wakefulness with eyes closed which is slower in infants and young children and attenuates with eye opening or attention. This is very similar to wakefulness or let's say the alpha rhythm in adults. For three years age the frequency would be 7.5 to 9.5 Hz. 15 years the mean frequency would be 10 Hz. Vertex sharp waves appear at the age of 4 to 6 months post term. Hypnagogic hypersynchrony appears at the age of 3 to 6 months post term. It is defined as paroxysmal bursts of runs of diffuse high amplitude sinusoidal 75 to 350 microvolts, scoring stage wakefulness in children. Same rules as in adults, adding to it the PDR finding. In older children and adults, PDR is often referred to as alpha rhythm. Stage in one, same rules as in adults, adding to it the hypnagogic hypersynchrony finding. These waveforms can occur in stage in one and in two. Sleep onset is defined as in the following table. So for infants more than two months post term, usually it is stage R. In infants up to six to eight months, it is defined as drowsiness and the frequency would be three to five hertz. From one to two hertz slower than the waking EEG background activity, Amplitude would be 75 to 200 microvolts. Children, 8 months to 3 years, drowsiness, and the frequency is 3 to 4 hertz, maximal over the occipital region, or 4 to 6 hertz, maximal over the front to central region, with a very high amplitude. From 3 years on, it is often characterized by a 1 to 2 Hz slowing of the PDR and or the PDR often becomes diffusely distributed then is gradually replaced by relatively low voltage mixed frequency EG activity. For stages N2, N3 and R, same rules should be applied as in the adults. We got a 6 years old female presented with pulmonary hypertension and witnessed attacks of shocking. PSG to roll out sleep rate breathing disorders using NPR level 1 with RimLogic 4 software was performed. And this is 30 second window here over EOG. We have um, active eyes, we have reading eye movements, chin and tone is high, and here in the background we have alpha, uh, slide of alpha and mixed frequency waveforms. So this is stage wakefulness. In this example, we have uh, SEM findings, slow eye movements, and we have uh, drowsiness. So there is reduction in the uh, EEG frequency. So it's in the theta range um, with slide of vertex waves. Um, and this, so this is N1. 
In this example, we have no eye movements, uh, we have um, spindles, we don't have the six seconds of slow wave in order to score this as stage N3, so this is stage N2. Uh, next epoch here also, this is stage N2. We have spindles, come some K complexes. Here we have mirroring of delta activity over EOG. We have delta activity and slow wave making more than 20% of the entire epoch duration. So this is the amplitude. It's uh, more than 75 microvolt. Um, this is N3. In this epoch, uh, we don't have any eye movements, any specific eye movements to REM sleep. We have low tone uh, over the chin EMG. We don't have any uh, sleep spindles or K complexes to score as N2. We don't have any uh, slow wave sleep to score as N3. So this is the reason why this epoch um, should be scored as stage M. Next epoch. Here we have high amplitude waveforms, and this is in the range of slow wave sleep, and there is mirroring uh, of, e of EEG over EOG for the delta activity and slow wave, so this is N3. Next epoch, we have uh, sleep spindles um, here at the beginning here, and also here, uh, the second part. So uh, this is N2. Here we have rapid eye movements over EOG. We have um, lamp finding, which is a low amplitude mixed frequency. We have absent tone with some bursts. Here, transit muscle activity seen here. So this is stage R. Next epoch, again, continuation of R because of the rapid eye movement. There's uh, also low amplitude or low chin tone, and we have some transient muscle activity. And the EG in the background, it has the range of uh, length. If you have any questions, please contact Natives Academy at natives.com. And thank you very much.